Kia ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan and thank you for joining us for our Thursday weather update recorded on August the 1st. Well, the big high that dredged up this cold southerly wind is moving away from Tasmania and it's heading towards New Zealand. But there is this low pressure zone stuck in the north here and that remains across the weekend driving in some wet weather to the very top of New Zealand. But as you can see here for Thursday going into the evening, the south to southeasterly flow, the cooler airflow, is moving right up to the top of the country now. Temperatures are dropping as a result of that. In the South Island, as the high moves in, the winds fade out. That's why we saw some big frosts this morning. And we've got those moderate to severe frosts coming in for the next couple of nights, in particular through the highlands of uh, Canterbury and some parts of Otago. So let's have a look at lunchtime Friday. The low is still up here to the north and driving down the subtropical air. So once again, subtropical airflow coming in for the top of New Zealand, subantarctic coming in for everyone from about the Bombay Hills southwards. And so those two meet around the Auckland area. Some spots of heavy rain, otherwise it's just a broken up showery kind of setup. And we've got more of those colder showers coming in around the eastern side of the North Island, Mostly dry though if you live in the South Island. That's why those frosts are pretty big and they'll be big uh, on Saturday morning as that high comes in. The high pressure zone is actually breaking apart. That is the new main centre to it forming over New South Wales and this is sort of like a bubble that's kind of breaking away from it. As a result of that on Saturday the low remains up here to the north and the wet weather carries on into Northland and brushes Auckland. Auckland could be dry or it might go a little wetter. It is right on the edge of that high pressure belt and the colder weather uh, is from about Waikato southwards. Now the departure from normal, how much warmer or cooler is it at one o'clock in the afternoon compared to this time of the year in previous years? And you can certainly see the colder air flows along the eastern side of the country, but now it's Northland's turn to feel some of that cooler air in the mix. But uh, yeah, around the country, depends on where you live, but the western side, generally speaking, is leaning a little bit warmer than average. On Sunday, the low remains stuck to the north up here, and like I said, the high pressure zone is sort of breaking apart, and the secondary version of it out here over the South Island and sort of ballooning out to the east isn't as strong. Uh, so this is the one that we're still going to be watching as we go into next week. That low does produce more wet weather and it potentially goes further down. It might go into Bay of Plenty with a few showers, but it's still mostly up around Northland. And there's a slight northwesterly forming here now around the lower part of the South Island, which means Sunday night and going into Monday morning won't be quite as cold. Temperatures again, the departure from normal shows much of the North Island uh, slightly cooler than average or about normal. There are a few warmer areas and in the South Island it stays pretty much the same. The eastern areas are cooler, the western areas are warmer, but you might notice a slight warming up in Southland as that westerly arrives. And here on Monday morning that westerly carries on, a couple of showers might be around, temperatures will be up a couple of degrees on where they were this morning, put it that way. In the north, the low here finally being pushed away by that high pressure zone coming out of New South Wales, but it's split in half. Here is the other half to it out here to the east, which sort of slows down the process of that moving away. As this high comes in, a cooler southerly flow kicks in for the top of the country. So Monday night might be down a little bit, as will Tuesday as that southerly comes into northern New Zealand. So a little bit cooler there, elsewhere not much to talk about. In fact, if anything, in Southland and Otago, your temperatures are going up as those westerlies come on through. Beautiful weather around Nelson, Tasman and Marlborough. Don't talk about you a lot because obviously your weather is often very settled and, and sunny, uh, but you've got some beautiful weather on the way after the frosts and just a few showers clipping the northeastern corner here. And that is the forecast through until Tuesday of next week. I'll be back again tomorrow Friday with a longer range outlook, taking a closer look at rain. There isn't gonna be a lot as this high comes in. Make sure you check out our Climate Watch update for the month of August. We're sharing that later on today, Thursday. We'll see you tomorrow Friday with our next update.